Hello and welcome to another episode of the Music Lab. I'm in the Songtown studios today and I wanted to talk to you about removing crutches from your songwriting. You know, years ago when I first moved from New York City to Nashville, I was lucky enough to get a publishing deal and I wrote pretty much every day for five years and never could get one of those big cuts. I couldn't get a major artist to record one of my songs. And as a result, during that five year period, I lost two publishing deals. And they, they just weren't, they, they didn't think that perhaps I was going to write that big song. I felt like I could, but when you're not doing it, it's hard to convince other people that you can do it. So one of the keys for me that allowed me to kind of turn that corner and start getting some, some bigger cuts, started writing better songs, more intuitive songs, was to get rid of those familiar crutches I had. And I'll, I'll just start off with a little story. I was writing for a company called Muy Bueno, and we got, my co-writer and I got asked to write a song for a TV show. Now, I say asked, it wasn't like we had the job. We were just one of hundreds of people that were trying to get a song on this TV show. And they wanted something similar to Sarah McLaughlin. So I had been in Nashville for five years playing my Martin guitar, I thought I had the Nashville sound down and they wanted something that was piano based and you know I had not played piano in five years so I sat down to write with my co-writer and I felt very you know what do I do and as a result that you know being in an unfamiliar place it caused me to rely on my ear um, it, I had to go with gut instinct and, and that taught me a valuable lesson. I removed that crutch of my favorite Martin guitar with the perfect set of strings on it to get that perfect sound. And I went into an area that I was not comfortable with and it, it allowed me to get my first big cut, a song called Second Chance. That's been in a couple of movies and you know, it, it was, it was the turning point for my career. Uh, another turning point came when I decided that I figured out one day that every song I played was the familiar guitar chords that I grew up learning. And I had learned hundreds of songs all using standard guitar tuning. And it occurred to me one day that every time I sat down to play, I was reaching for the same chords. I was writing songs that sounded like those songs my heroes wrote that I had learned years ago. So what I did is I forced myself to pick up an entirely new tuning. And, and this one was called Dad Gad. Um, D, A, D, G, A, D. Dad Gad. And I, I forced myself to, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I just started, I didn't have any kind of YouTube back then. So I just kind of was started putting my fingers places and seeing what worked. And it, it allowed me to start developing my ear. Um, and one of the, the first big songs I had, um, I just want to show you that you don't have to be a great musician to do this stuff. You simply need to start trusting your gut and trusting your ear. Uh, I went on the road to write with um, Darius Rucker, who was the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. And I decided to take a little baby Taylor guitar with me that I had never written on before. And I decided to put it in this new tuning, Dad Gad. And just to show you, this whole song that I ended up writing with Darius um, could be played with one finger. That's how simple it is. And I'll just show you. And dust. So I wasn't coming back, said I'd had enough. And that was the whole verse. Um, it was based around that riff, one finger. The chorus, once again, I can do it with one finger. Don't think I don't think about it. Don't think I don't have regrets. Don't think it don't get to me. Between the work and the hood and the whiskey, don't think I don't want to bow. So once again, I don't want you to ever think that 
you're limited by your guitar skills. I can freaking play this song with one finger. How easy is that? So it's more about learning to trust your gut um, and, and trust your ear and, and being creative. And, and that to me means strip away all the fancy chords, strip away all the, the, hey, look how cool I am and how clever I am. Strip all that away and get to the heart of the song. And that's one thing that, that removing your crutches will do. Now, I wrote in Dadgad, that tuning, for probably like seven or eight years. And I started noticing, okay, now everything I'm doing, I'm going to those familiar places. It's all starting to sound the same. So one day, um, I had to co-write with an artist, an indie artist called Matt Wirtz. And Matt has sold a lot of records um, as an indie artist. He's had songs in a ton of TV shows, um, and I was real excited to write with him. So what do I do? I show up with a guitar, this guitar, and a tuning I had never written in. Um, and it's basically um, a tuning that some some people around Songtown call drunk tuning. And um, it's basically had that nickname because it didn't matter how much you were drinking, you, you put your fingers anywhere and you can get a good song out of it. So it So with Matt, um, I just started playing a riff, um, and, we, and this is what we came up with. I'll just play you a little bit of that. Um, and once again, I can play this whole song with one finger, and it's in a completely different tuning. It's uh, C, G, C, G, C, D. So root fifth, root fifth, root second. how the, the verse went. Then the chorus was a Let's get on to that fire Crazy fall that takes you higher Higher Let the fool the truth Whenever you love somebody Whenever you love somebody Like I love you So there again, that was a, a new tuning. I wasn't quite familiar with it. Um, so I just start picking. I'll pick a string, put a finger down. But you get the idea. Um, the idea is just to put yourself in an unfamiliar place, get rid of those crutches, and another great thing I like to do is switch back and forth. If I'm writing a song, I'll play piano a while, then I'll switch over to a guitar. Heck, I've even got, I'll pull this up, I've even got this little guitar here. It's a four string guitar. Um, and I'll just show you, I'll sit here and, and make something up just to... basically sliding my fingers around making stuff up and of course it took me a while to, to get comfortable with that but the point is if we remove our crutches 
We're going to be much better writers in the long run. We'll learn to use our ear. We'll learn to use our gut, our intuition. And we're not going to sound like all those songs that we grew up learning to play um, because our hands are going to the same places. I, I want your hands to go somewhere new. So this week, as you're writing, I hope that you take some of this to heart and you try maybe an unfamiliar instrument, a different tuning, and try to come up with ways that you know, you, you kind of force yourself into that unfamiliar. Okay, well, have a good week, and we'll see you next week back here on the um, Music Lab. Take care. Cheers.